a um, nervous coach going into this week's game? No, I'm actually really excited with what we can do uh, this weekend, I think. Obviously, just finishing in the top two, I think, took a lot of weight off everyone's shoulders, um, particularly when the girls were flying back. There was a quite an eruption on the plane when they um, when they heard that Vixens had scored that that um, first quarter point um, so yeah for us it's we've we've always learnt from a previous experience and you know it's one-on-one -on -one with Giants it's not like we haven't beaten them before so um, we've had a really good review yesterday a hard training today and yeah the the spirit around the group's pretty high. So where is the scope to turn around last week's result? Uh, yeah, start playing our way from the very beginning of the game would be uh, a good way to start, I think. Um, you know, we've got to have that physical presence from the very beginning and take the take the game on and let the ball go. And, um, you know, we showed that what we can do when we do that, particularly in that last quarter, but um, it's going to be a different story this week. It, it should be tight um, and you can't give any room and certainly not a lead like we did last week. So, uh, yeah, lots to play for. And um, I think everyone's really just excited about taking taking another step forward. Yeah, good. She obviously no major damage. So once you get cleared from an ACL, um, that really brought uh, you know a smile to the group. There was a, a bit of a waiting period there, and um, you know obviously she's still pretty sore. Um, but we're you know hopeful she'll take part in some part of the finals. But um, we're just going to have to play it day by day. I, Put her in the hands of our medical staff, and um, you know, see see how she pulls up. What damage is there on the Oh, to be honest, I'm not not up to up to it with all the the technical terms. You know, there's a few strains in there and things like that. So um, yeah, the the biggest part it's not the ACL. So um, yeah, I've I've been told there's a chance that she could participate. Um, so I'll ride with that, and and then hopefully day by day. She's she's super tough, but she's also a player that will only go out there if she can give the team her all and, and that's the commitment we'll make to the group. So rule her out for this week though? Pardon? Rule her out for this week um, we'll see see how she goes. Um, you know, it's it's coming it's looking good, um, but you know, I'd say that it, she's pretty sore, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So we'll take 11 players this week um, and regardless of if she wasn't playing, we'd take her. She's a part of the group. She's done all the hard work the whole way through and, you know, she brings leadership off the court as well. So, um, you know, she's extremely passionate. She's one of the heart and soul of the club. So, uh, yeah, she'll be with us on the on the road. If she doesn't make it, who, who replaces her on the side? Um, I've got to go through that selection process. We're lucky enough that we have four really strong train-on players that have been with us the whole season. Um, it's just how we want to shape our lineup as to what decision I make. So um, I've got to sit with the other coaches and, and go through that after this. Given it's not a cutthroat final this week and the risk of re-injury or doing more damage, how much do you weigh that up in deciding whether the player or not? Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think we'd ever put a player out there if they're at risk of doing severe damage. So she pretty much has to be cleared fit and ready to play and, and play in any position and under any physical contact because that's what we're going to be up against. So um, yeah, it'll be up to the medical staff to make sure that she's fit and ready to go and, and then I've got the freedom then to run the line how I want. In the aftermath, did you think it was an ACL? Was that the initial... Yeah, there was a, a fair bit, like her leg didn't move and she got, um, you know, a couple of players landing on top of her. So um, obviously the reaction, the pain that she she received at that very particular point was pretty severe. Um, and, you know, there's obviously a whole heap of tests and sometimes the body reacts differently when you're, you're testing things out and sometimes it tightens up so it, it might not seem like an ACL and then other times you can have loose joints anyway. So. Um, yeah, it was a big, big question mark for us. Yeah. <laughs> she got a bit of a sore butt. Um, pretty much got knocked a couple of metres. Um, so yeah, it's just that part in the season where the players pull up sore from games, and you just got to give them. She started the first part of the session, did all right, and then just started to tighten up a bit. So we just pulled her from training, and she'll be right to go on Thursday. 
Yeah, got a muscle spasm through the game, so um, just landed awkwardly and it seized up. Um, she was pretty stiff and sore yesterday, but um, you know she's had massage after massage, so uh, um, and physio treatment, so she was looking good today. So uh, she'll be fine for the game. The lure, the home grand final. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it would be sensational to see what netball in WA looks like with a home final. Um, you know, we do have that regardless of the result on the weekend anyway, so I guess that's something that, um, you know, you've got a, a second bite to it. Um, but, you know, the girls know what it what it means and, um, you know, it, it's silly to say that it's just another game because the reality is it's a final um, and we've addressed that and had a really open discussion as to how we need to address it but also how to keep really level perspective. It's a really humble team, um, but they're, they're getting that air of confidence about them. And when they're like that and they're connected and there's that unity, um, they can take on anyone. Stacey, uh, you brought on Stanton in the third quarter and you made a few changes uh, that ended up sparking the comeback in the fourth. Do you think you'll go with that lineup for the final this weekend? Yeah, to be honest, um, you know, I've still got to look at the lineup and, and keep reviewing the match. I think that's the part I've always said we've got versatility and the changes that we've made have had an impact. I mean, Shannon's come on a number of times and, and had a really positive impact. And Kaylee got some good ball movement happening for us and then we, we changed the lineup again. So, um, you know, I've got every confidence to move the lineup around um, and, you know, I'll just see one, how many bodies I've got in and out and how sore we are and, and then make sure that we can run out 60 minutes as hard as possible. How much confidence did that com comeback give the team? Uh, does it give you confidence that you can score quickly on the Giants? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the, the part that you can take away from the game is that to be able to get that score line back to three um, and particularly such a big quarter, um, you know, it, it changes the way you perceive the game as well, but it certainly hasn't taken away the reality of what happened in the first three quarters. So I think with the honesty of the group, yes, it was good to take that positivity, but you also have to look at, well, what happened and, and how do we fix it? Think on what did happen. Oh, I wish I could in some parts because I probably should have, uh, like we could have instigated something a bit earlier. Sometimes you're just a bit flat and a bit disconnected and probably they didn't acknowledge that together. Um, so, you know, when they were all thinking it, but no action happened from it. And I think maybe, um, you know, once the game had opened up, it was like, well, we've got to, we've got to pull our finger out and do something. And that just competitive nature of them, they, they brought it in that last quarter, so um, they're certainly aware that they don't want that to happen again.